All right, chip of the day. Everybody loves chip of the day. It is a PC817. It is a four pin dip. Uh, and it is an optocoupler. So cute little device. The optocouplers used to be minimum of eight pins and then they went to four pin, uh, six pins. They needed room in there to get all that optocoupler type of stuff in there, but then they figured out how to do it with just four pins, which is all you need. Four, four pins of electrical connection is all you need. Uh, so yeah, let's take a look at the data sheet. These are nice parts, I like these parts. So this is a, a PC817 series. I don't know what's special about the different series, but it is a, this four pin dip here. It's just a generic optocoupler. Uh, it uses an infrared LED. Um, I had a comment on one of my videos when I was talking about uh, these optocouplers are often used for the feedback path in a um, switching power supply, the, the feedback for the voltage. And I mentioned a forward voltage of one volt and somebody says, oh, you don't, there's no such thing as a, an LED that has a forward voltage of one volt. Um, if you take a look at the curve though, like um, gallium nitride has maybe three volts and then it comes to the green and then the red, maybe red has, you know, 1.25, something like that. The infrared can be even lower where they start to turn on into volt. Um, so yeah, the, 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 uh, the IV curves, the VI curves, however you want to say it, are much lower for infrared uh, LEDs. Uh, which these use. Um, and we could probably sweep, yeah, we could sweep this one, why not? Uh, and see what kind of forward voltage it has. Um, not that it turns on all the way, but it, the knee, right where it starts to turn on, that's when it would start to feed back, is around a volt. Okay, uh, this is what they look like inside. The four pins is all you need. You got your, you got your LED and you got your photo di a photo transistor, and yeah, that's all you need. So, easy to hook up. Uh, what else do we got here? Uh, they'll do 50 milliamps, uh, 80 volt. Yeah, they're pretty, pretty tough little parts. Uh, I like them. Let's see here. Well, they probably made, they probably made the measurements for us here. Let's take a look at here. Uh, current transfer ratio. Yeah, I think we need to measure this thing. Let's measure it. Um, measure. I think I like the way I say that. Um, let's see here, collector, emitter, saturation voltage, dark current, um, let's see here, where's the frequency response, they just need to have all kinds of stuff, uh, let's see, forward current versus forward, yeah, here we go, this is what we want. Uh, yeah, you see, it's right down here at a volt, I'm not a liar, <laughs> see? Right here at one volt is when they start to when they start to turn on. So yeah, they have a very low, um, very low forward voltage because it's an infrared diode, which most people aren't familiar with. But I worked with LEDs for decades. <laughs> so I know lots about LEDs. Okay, uh, what I want to do, I've never seen this done before. I want to treat it like it's a transistor, and I want to put it on a curve tracer and measure it like a transistor. So let's go see how I did that. Well, maybe, maybe you should draw pictures, yeah. People like it when I draw pictures. It makes it easier to understand, and I understand that. A lot of people are very visual, like I am. Okay, so we have a, uh, we have an LED, okay? And this outputs light. And then we have a phototransistor over here, NPN. And um, if we were gonna put this on a curve tracer, we would need access to the base. Well. Uh, this is generally the way these things are used. Okay, well this is the base. Okay, so we're gonna call, we're gonna hook this up this, to, this, to the machine. We're gonna connect this to base. We're gonna connect this to collector. And we're gonna connect this to emitter. And it should look like a transistor, okay? We'll need to put in milliamps instead of microamps, but yeah, it should look like a transistor. So let's go do that. All right, let's uh, turn up the voltage. Here it goes, look at that. Look at that, <laughs> it looks like a transistor. Yay! <laughs> now, um, the only thing that's funny is the amount of current in the base, okay? We are doing one milliamp step, so there's one milliamp, two milliamp, three milliamp, four milliamp, five milliamp. 
Um, so that's pretty heavy duty for, for, for a small signal transistor at least. And then here's the beta, okay? So we're not even reaching a beta of two. Um, so yeah, the gain of this thing is really, really, really low. So let's, let's move this up so we can read it better. So here's, uh, yeah, uh, there's 1.5. 1, 1, so 1 point, it has a beta of uh, H, HFE of uh, 1 point, yeah, 1.75. So, <laughs> how's that for a transistor? <laughs> I love it. Uh, but otherwise, you know, it, 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 it acts just like a transistor. So uh, it's a bit uh, non-linear here, because that's the curve, what you're seeing. The non-linear response is the, is the curve, I'm using my hands and you can't see what I'm doing, is the curve of the diode, right? As you turn on the LED, it doesn't turn on linearly, it follows a, a curve. And that's why these are unevenly spaced because you're following that curve. All right. So let's uh, let's look at that LED. Uh, so this is an iron LED. Yeah, let's uh, let's go sweep him. Uh, let's see, I just need to move two wires. I just need to move swap base for coal, base for uh, yeah collector for base. I think that should be it. Yeah, there we go. That was easy. <laughs> All right. So let's. Uh, Let's go ahead and move this out. And, uh, okay. And let's move this up, 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 this one. There we go. Okay. So uh, you can see we are at 200 millivolts per division. So two, four, six, eight, ten. 10, right at one volt, it's turning on. You can see that it's already turned on even before a volt, it's starting to bend there. So yeah, we're right at one volt, it starts turning on into transistor mode. I really like transistor mode. <laughs> it's kind of fun. Like I said, I've never seen this done before. And we can change the horizontal back so we can zoom out. There we go. Yeah, I really like this picture. Let me show you how I have a... <clears throat> Let me show you how I have it hooked up. Turn on the room lights here. Yeah, I just have uh, the... Uh, cathode of the LED and the and the emitter of the phototransistor tied together and that goes to the emitter and then the input to the diode the LED is the base and then the collector is the collector so there you go uh, just for comparison here's a red LED uh, we can take a look at the forward voltage of red LED, which is what most people are uh, most people are familiar with. So let's let's show you that. That's probably why people say, "Hey, you can't have one volt. That doesn't make any sense." All right. So let's go back to horizontal to yeah. So this is the same scale as we saw before. Uh, two, four, six, eight, one, uh, point two, point four, point six. Yeah, it doesn't come on until one point six volts. Um, so, yep, yeah, that's why that person was confused. All right, there you go. Chip of the day, a PC817 four-pin general-purpose photocoupler. Sometimes you'll see it called iso a photo isolator, photocoupler, photo... Oh, gosh, there's a whole bunch of names people use for these stupid things. Optocoupler, photocoupler, uh, I iso... I forget. Anyway, <laughs> you know what it is. It's one of those things. Thank you.